Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are in the world. This is Howie, and I'm here to help you win with money. Today is April 15, 2021, known as Tax Day. Except this year, the U.S. government did push it back one more month. If you're a small business owner or somebody who has to pay quarterly taxes, you still need to do that. This is week number 15 of the trading year, so I want to do some trades this morning and I want to talk through some of the things that I did yesterday that I did not record but before we do so as always I want to let you know please join Facebook group 102 if you are on Facebook if you are on YouTube obviously hit the bell like and follow my YouTube channel looking at Yahoo Finance markets are green right now they look really good S&P's at a new high let's see can the market stay green and not have that sudden fall at the end of the day so here's the prices for bitcoin as you can see bitcoin is holding pretty well i think ether is at new highs i don't follow the other ones but some people are excited about doge because if you got in earlier this year most people got in under a penny per coin so a lot of people made over two thousand percent return so far so that's what today's look like so let's get on to e-trade and let's do a trade so the first thing you're going to notice is Roku. I've been playing Roku every week for a small premium, and I did that yesterday. If you do the math here, I think I got 50 cents from yesterday, and I think it's looking pretty good where if the market holds steady, I mean, this is pretty good. I, I need to stay under 400, so I'm still 22 points away. What I may want to do is go on the other side and go really far down. So what I mean by that is, let me see how much will I get if I go $10 wide on the downside. And this is what it looked like. This is a 28, I mean $23 down. I'll collect another 19 cents. I may actually go a little bit further down just to be safer. Because what I want to do is try to collect some extra premium. So here you go. You can see that's 28 points down. It may be the right, maybe that is the right mix. This is the hardest part with trading. What is the right percentage where I'm making money on the top side, making money on the downside, and then hopefully time will run out and you make money on both sides. So that's what I'll do. Let's start off with a 23. So I converted this, this spread into an iron condor, basically, by adding a put leg to it. These were the call legs. So let's do that right now. It doesn't take any buying power, so I don't need to worry about that. And here you go. Look at the time snap at 10.22. Roku gave me a slight credit of 18 dollars $18 here. And very quickly, a couple of trades went across right now. What I did was I rolled up the untested side, the put side, a little bit closer. Because you see, these don't have a lot of time left. So I'm just going to roll the untested side because they're really far away. Some of them were $30 away. On the tested side, it's a little bit closer. So I want to move it up, and then we'll play it out a little bit long and see what happens. Um, I'm losing money on the call side because the market has been really good. So I'm just going to move up the put side a little bit. And then what I'm waiting for is just really one or two red days, and then I should be able to exit out and make some money. But again... Don't really know, right? I don't know if the market will keep on being green for the next couple of days, but this is the risk you take with trading. So we'll 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 just monitor that and see how that plays out. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is Riot Blockchain. You can see each week these are cash secure puts, and I'm rolling it down. So here's a scenario where I had an April 16th of 47 put. I'm rolling it down $1 and I collected $55 for it. Now this one becomes this here where you buy the clothes and I roll it down again one more week, another dollar, and I receive another 50 credit. So let's just follow the Fred. So on this one, this April 30th becomes this one here, 45, and I'm rolling it to an a, a May 7, 44, receive a 40 cents. So, and this one now becomes here, and I did that yesterday. I rolled this down one more week out, and I just picked 50 cents on this one, and I got a $62 for it. 
and you see I have two different contracts. But if you look at how much I collected just in the last month, the four weeks that I'm doing it, the two contracts collected me $400. I don't own the stock. It's actually, I'm rolling it down. So I'm releasing buying power from my account and I'm collecting cash in my account with very little risk. If Bitcoin goes up, I'll make a little bit of money. If Bitcoin goes a little bit down, I'll still make money because I'm trying to stay ahead of the next. If Bitcoin drops, let's say from 60,000 to 40,000, I will be in trouble because I got to stay ahead of the future drop. And then at some point, I'm going to exit out of this and move on to the next play. Now, a lot of it depends. If I make enough profit to cover all the costs, even if Bitcoin goes up and down, I may actually stay in it a little bit longer or I'll just keep on playing it every week until Bitcoin hits a million bucks or whatever because then I can always do a cash secure put. Now, obviously, if Bitcoin goes to a million, the puts will be very expensive and I can't do cash secure put. I'll switch into a using uh, spreads, credit spreads, and then I'll play it that way. But that's a tidbit. I wanted to show you how you can play one stock or one ticker and still make money. This is consistent. I've been playing blockchain since Christmas, and I'll do another video on that. With that being said, I'm going to end this video. The dog is barking. Hard to record when there's animals making sounds. Markets still look good. Don't forget, comment below. Let me know what you're doing this week. Let me know how your trading is going. Let's do this together. Let's do this $1 at a time. Have a profitable day. Bye-bye.